Alright guys, what's going on? DX1 here, back with another Pokemon Go video. And it's wonderful to get a little bit of that golden hour of sunlight in, or at least what's left of it. It's currently 9.22 in the morning, and it's a Sunday, so... Um, things are pretty chill today, and today's basically going to be like more of a chill slash grinding kind of day. And if you're taking a look at my level, level 39, and you know we haven't really made that much of a dent into the um, 5 million XP required. And since I'm going to be so busy with working on the videos and working and with school and stuff like that, um, Sunday mornings, actually Sundays throughout the day, are going to be the best opportunities for me to um, really grind out experience points and to get Stardust as well. So what I'm thinking is this is going to be a Sunday Pokemon Go series where I catch Pokemon throughout the day. So right now I'm going to be playing till about 11.30 and then I'll be picking it back up at around 4. So we'll be back here around 4 o'clock today for some more action. No, I'm going to see at the end of the day how much progression I've made towards level 40. Hopefully I can get at least 100,000 XP today or at least 500,000 XP today, but however much I get, I'm going to be grinding all day today to get as much XP as I can, so, you know, let's get this started. Uh, you know, I'm going to be lighting up my usual grinding spot, so, as you can see, down this way, there's about a spot of about three to four Pokestops lined up together. And then you have two spots on the outside of it, and another stop by the side. So that's about six Pokestops very close to each other, and what I usually do is I walk across those Pokestops and I walk a little bit further to the bathroom area right there and then I'll just trace back to where these lures are and I'll have them have them lured up and you know I'll be catching Pokemon through the Pokestops and that's a great way to get XP and to walk and get your Stardust so that's my usual um, I call it the XP grinding route. I call it the golden route, right? So I'm going to be walking through that, and you know, who knows, if anywhere spawns pop up, which um, is very likely, because it is Red Bank Park, um, this is basically like, it's basically like the Santa Monica Pier of the South Jersey, Philadelphia area. So what's interesting is that you'll be able to get a lot of rare spawns and grind out a lot of XP and Stardust. Why is someone, is someone calling me? Anyway, guys. I'll catch you guys later. If anything rare spawns up, I'll pop out the camera and I'll show you guys. But until then, we're going to check in about 11 o'clock today, see how much experience points I've gained. i got the Lucky Egg running, and I've got plenty of lures. I'm going to lure up all these Pokestops down at the end, and we're going to see what happens today. So this is going to be the Sunday grind session, so let's get it going. All right, Poke Crew. Um, my, po my Go Plus actually snagged the first two rare spawns for me, but I'm not going to let it snag this one from me. We've got an Electrode at, wow, coming in at 1240 CP. I'm going to try to AR right here, actually. See if we can go for a snapshot right here. Did you take it? Did you take it? Nice, nice, nice. How's it look? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so you've got the AR shot. Alright crew, I decided to go with a Nana Berry and I'm thinking a Nana Berry Great Ball for this Electrode encounter. He's been jumping around quite a bit, so the Nana Berry seems to have calmed him down. So we're going to go right for the middle of the circle. Great throw on the edge. And this should be... Hmm. Alright. First rare spawn of the day is the Electrode. We got him down and I'm going to keep on with this grind session about 10 o'clock in the morning so far so we've got a couple hours left so this is going to carry on with the grinding session if anything else rare spawns we'll be right back pretty interesting little cluster right here we got ourselves a Charmander and an Octillery Charmander to start off we're going to go with 404 CP so we're going to go with the Pineapple Berry because obviously we need as many Charmander candies as we could possibly get these guys are a real pain to catch so we're going to go with the Ultra Ball so honestly, I suggest like if you encounter a starter Pokemon, like make sure you go with the um. See, look, you just popped out of the Ultra Ball. I don't know how they always manage to pop out of the Ultra Ball, but they always do. But we're gonna go for one more Pineapple Berry attempt, and then we'll go for the Efficiency Strike, which is the combination of Raspberry Pokeball. 
Alright, so we might want to go Raspberry um, Ultra Ball. Oh my god, why are these so hard to catch? Alright. See, they really, they really make you work for the starter candy. So we're going to go for Raspberry Ultra Ball so we can go get the Octillery. Because this, we are wasting time in a way. Are you serious? Like, alright. One more go. And then we'll just, I guess we'll have to go Golden Raspberry. What is that? One, two, three, four. I think there's five attempts so far. It's one with Pokeball, three with, uh, four with Ultra Balls. So we're just wasting away our Ultra Balls on this Charmander. And it fled. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Um, all right, well, we'll go for the Octillery, I guess. All right, so the Octillery is going to come in at 555 CP. We're going to go for the Efficiency Strike here. We're going to go for um, Raspberry Pokeball. I'm going to go right down the middle. We're going to hit the Great Throw. Oh, we're having we're having a hard time with these guys. These have been like the first rare spawns I've seen in a while. This Octillery is giving me a little bit of trouble. All right. And it's attacking. All right, go for again. Another great throw. See if we get it this time. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna go for Golden Raspberry. That's a waste of time. We're gonna go, we're gonna get one of these. We're gonna get one of these guys. I promise, we're gonna get one of them. All right, we didn't get the Charmander. Raspberry, Ultra Ball. If it pops out, I'm walking away. All right. We've got one of them. Now I gotta go rush to my car and get my charger to charge up my phone so we can keep grinding, but we missed the Charmander, but got the Octillery. All right, one of two. All right guys, another pretty good spawn here. We've got the Swoodo Wooda right here. And you know what, for the first attempt, we're, yeah, 1344, we're definitely gonna go for the Efficiency Strike. So we're gonna go with the Raspberry Pokeball. And I'm gonna fling it over here. We're gonna get a great throw on the encounter. Let's see if we can pick it up. All right, the efficiency strike gets the victory on the Swoodo Voodoo encounter. And that's another rare spawn for you guys. And we're, I'm just gonna keep grinding. We're, we're breaking some pretty solid headway. So we've gotten a pretty good amount of XP. And this is only the first part of the day. Again, we're gonna leave it around 11.30 and then pick it back up around four. So, not a bad start. And almost back up to two million starters without hatching any eggs. So that's pretty positive results there as well. So, we keep moving along. All right, P-goers. Um, a little bit of news um, to cover before we head out. It's about 11.30 in the morning, so we're about to head out and we'll pick it back up later on the day. But first, we've got a little bit of news. Portal submissions coming to Ingress very soon. So, that has a little bit of significance to Pokemon Go players. It says here, very soon, your scanners will be able to submit portals to this giant shared mind place of Palace of ours. So it says, following the success of OPR and the rapid exhaustion of the portal submission backlog, Niantic has decided to bring back portal submissions. So, no date has been announced so far, but very soon, they said very soon, so that probably means this year, not next year, or the latest next year. So, they also said, we're very excited for this move as Niantic has been creating Pokestops by importing the Ingress data set and building on top of it. So, there you go right there, Niantic just said it. Ingress players that submit portals in their area convert into Pokestops, which is information that we already know. So the reopening of the Ingress portal submissions could be a key step in improving Pokemon Go's rural gameplay, especially if the level requirement for portal submissions stays low. So in order to, to submit portal requests, you need to be at least level eight in Ingress. So, which is not a difficult task. Now, I don't know how to play Ingress, I don't know how Ingress works, I don't know how it runs, but um, you know, if I did live in a rural and rural area, which I, I pretty much do, I, I travel outside of where I live, where I reside to play Pokemon Go, but 
you know, if I did live in a rural area where there was, I couldn't find a pokey stop for at least like five or ten miles, um, I probably would uh, take into consideration playing Ingress and, you know, trying to see if I could add some Pokemon Go uh, presence to my community. So, you know, credit to the Redditor named um, Moo 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 Sings 1331, and he wrote a quick explanation of the event. And what's interesting is that this is going to be big for the world core base for Pokemon Go players. So, world players, this news update is mostly for you guys. So, um, consider hopping on Ingress and, you know, typing in some portal submissions and maybe, who knows, they'll convert into Pokestops. So, that's the news I want to cover and we'll pick it back up later today at 5 o'clock. Alright guys, back at the park today and it's about 5.43. I've been here for about an hour so far and checking the progression of the XP, you know, it's not a whole lot, but it's definitely a significant um, dent. And we got a couple more hours left, so we're going to see how much more XP I can gain. And, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. We may go back and we may get some more grinding done later. But for right now, I'm pretty satisfied with where the XP is, considering the amount of hours that I've played. So, I'm not going to say I'm totally satisfied, because there's still a lot more room to grow with the experience points. But for right now, I must say, I'm quite happy. I like where I'm at right now. So we're just going to keep going. And um, at, when the end of the day is done here, we'll, I'll make a decision whether I want to um, go back to headquarters and edit this video, send it out. Or, you know, we could continue on to the city and we could continue grinding if, um, if I feel that is necessary. So we're just going to keep going. If any rare spawns pop up, um, I'll be right out here and let you guys know what it is and we'll catch it, but until then, I'll see you guys later.